Hey there, fellow psychology enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the fascinating world of criminal psychology. Today, we have a thrilling topic to discuss that will take us deep into the intricate realm of criminal gangs, their group dynamics and the deviant behavior that arises within them. So, grab a seat, buckle up, and get ready for an eye-opening journey. Before we dive into the research and explore the psychology of criminal gangs, let me share a thought-provoking anecdote with you. Imagine a small town plagued by violence and crime. For years, its inhabitants lived in fear, struggling to find hope in the midst of chaos. But something remarkable happened. One brave individual had the audacity to stand up against the oppression. This person, let's call them Alex, started a movement to bring the community together, inspiring a sense of unity and purpose. And guess what? As the bonds grew stronger, the crime rate decreased dramatically. It was a powerful testament to the impact of human connection, and it got me thinking. If positive connections can transform a community, what about the powerful bonds forged within criminal gangs? What drives individuals to engage in such deviant behavior? Let's find out. Research-based point 1. Group identity and belonging. Research suggests that one crucial aspect of criminal gangs is the sense of belonging they provide. People join gangs seeking identity, acceptance, and protection, elements that might be lacking in their lives. These groups become their surrogate families, forging deep emotional connections. However, the dark side of this dynamic is that the group identity often supersedes individual moral compasses. Members may be driven to commit crimes to prove loyalty, gain respect, or preserve their place within the gang. It's a complex interplay of personal and group psychology. Let's delve deeper into the fascinating interplay of group identity and belonging within criminal gangs. Research suggests that individuals often gravitate towards gangs when they experience a lack of identity, acceptance, and protection in their lives. The gang becomes a surrogate family, offering a sense of belonging that may be absent from their personal relationships or communities. Studies have shown that individuals who join gangs often come from disadvantaged backgrounds, where they may have experienced neglect, abuse, or social isolation. In these circumstances, the gang becomes an enticing alternative, providing a support system and a source of validation. Members feel a deep connection with their fellow gang members, fostering a sense of loyalty and camaraderie. However, the allure of belonging can have a dark side. In their pursuit of acceptance and validation, members may feel compelled to prove their loyalty and dedication to the gang. This can lead to deviant behavior as they prioritize the group's interests over their own moral compass. Crimes committed within the gang may serve as a way to demonstrate loyalty, gain respect, or maintain their position within the social hierarchy. It's crucial to recognize that the dynamics of group identity and belonging within criminal gangs can be incredibly powerful. The need for acceptance and a sense of purpose can outweigh the individual's internal moral framework, leading to a transformation of values and behaviors. Understanding this complex interplay of personal and group psychology is vital in developing effective interventions and prevention strategies. Research has shown that interventions that focus on providing alternative forms of identity and support can help individuals transition away from gang involvement. By addressing the underlying needs for acceptance and belonging, such interventions can offer healthier paths to self-discovery and personal growth. Building positive connections, fostering mentorship programs, and creating opportunities for education and employment are crucial in breaking the grip of criminal gangs. Ultimately, our understanding of the psychology of group identity and belonging within criminal gangs can help us develop targeted interventions that disrupt the cycle of violence and provide individuals with the support they need to break free from the influence of the gang. By addressing the root causes and offering viable alternatives, we can empower individuals to redefine their sense of identity and forge a path towards a brighter future. Research-based point 2. Power Dynamics and Hierarchy Another intriguing facet of criminal gangs lies in the power dynamics and hierarchical structures that emerge within them. Researchers have found that gangs often mimic social structures found in larger society, with leaders, lieutenants, and foot soldiers. Power and respect become primary motivators for individuals within the gang. Those in positions of authority exert control and influence, while lower-ranking members aspire to climb the ladder. The allure of power and status can drive individuals to commit increasingly severe offenses to prove their worth or gain favor. 
Let's explore the captivating world of power dynamics and hierarchy within criminal gangs. Research indicates that gangs often mirror the social structures found in larger society, creating their own unique power structures. Within these gangs, we observe the presence of leaders, lieutenants, and foot soldiers, each with their own roles and responsibilities. Leadership positions within a gang are typically occupied by individuals who possess charisma, street smarts, and the ability to command respect. They establish and enforce rules, dictate the gang's activities, and make critical decisions. The leader's influence extends beyond mere authority. They become figures to emulate, embodying the traits and values that members aspire to possess. Lieutenants, who hold positions just below the leader, act as intermediaries between the leader and other members. They may oversee specific territories, manage conflicts, and ensure the smooth functioning of gang operations. Lieutenants often enjoy a degree of autonomy and wield authority over lower-ranking members. Foot soldiers, on the other hand, form the bulk of the gang's membership. They follow the orders of the leaders and lieutenants, participating in criminal activities and representing the gang's presence on the streets. For many foot soldiers, their loyalty and commitment are driven by the desire for power, status, and a sense of belonging. Within this hierarchical structure, power and respect become primary motivators. Those in positions of authority exert control and influence over lower-ranking members, while those aspiring to climb the ladder are driven by the allure of power and status. The quest for recognition and advancement can lead individuals to commit increasingly severe offenses, proving their worth or gaining favor with higher-ranking members. It is essential to understand that power dynamics within criminal gangs can be a double-edged sword. While it provides a sense of order and structure within the gang, it also perpetuates a cycle of violence and exploitation. The constant pursuit of power and the pressure to maintain respect can drive members to engage in acts that defy societal norms and moral boundaries. To address this issue, interventions need to consider the underlying motivations and pressures associated with power dynamics. Providing alternative paths to power and influence, such as mentorship programs, education, and employment opportunities, can redirect individuals' aspirations towards positive outlets. By offering avenues for personal growth and recognition outside of the criminal gang, we can disrupt the allure of power and status tied to criminal activities. Furthermore, fostering a sense of community and empowering individuals to make a positive impact within their neighborhoods can create a shift in power dynamics. When individuals experience a sense of agency and purpose through legal and pro-social means, the hierarchical structures of criminal gangs may lose their appeal. Understanding the complex interplay of power, status, and hierarchy within criminal gangs enables us to develop comprehensive strategies that address both the individual and structural aspects. By targeting the root causes and offering viable alternatives, we can inspire individuals to pursue a path of personal growth, empowerment, and positive influence, breaking free from the grip of power dynamics that perpetuate criminal behavior. Research-based point 3. Psychological Manipulation and Mind Control Now, let's shed light on the psychological manipulation techniques employed within criminal gangs. Research reveals that leaders often exploit the vulnerabilities of their members, employing tactics like coercion, fear, and manipulation to maintain control. They create an environment where dissent is discouraged and obedience is prized. By isolating individuals from external influences and fostering an us-versus-them mentality, leaders effectively manipulate their followers, molding them into loyal and obedient subjects. Within criminal gangs, psychological manipulation techniques play a significant role in establishing and maintaining control over members. Leaders of these gangs are often adept at exploiting the vulnerabilities and weaknesses of their followers, employing various tactics to manipulate and control them. Here are some common techniques used. 1. Coercion. Gang leaders exert control by using threats, intimidation, and physical violence to force members into compliance. They may use tactics like blackmail, extortion, or harming loved ones to ensure loyalty and obedience. Fear-based manipulation. Gang leaders instill fear in their members through acts of violence, displaying their power and control. 2. By creating an atmosphere of fear, they ensure that individuals are too afraid to challenge their authority or leave the gang. 3. Manipulation through charisma. 
leaders often possess charismatic qualities that enable them to influence and manipulate others effectively. They may use charm, persuasion, and charisma to gain the trust and loyalty of their followers. 4. Isolation. Gang leaders isolate their members from external influences, including friends and family, to limit alternative sources of support and control information flow. This isolation fosters a sense of dependency on the gang and its leader, making it harder for individuals to break away. 5. Cult-like tactics. Gang leaders employ tactics similar to those used by cult leaders. They create a strong sense of group identity, loyalty, and commitment by using rituals, symbols, and shared experiences. This fosters a strong, us versus them, mentality, making it difficult for members to question the leader or the gang's activities. 6. Exploitation of vulnerabilities. Leaders often identify and exploit the personal vulnerabilities and insecurities of their members. They may manipulate individuals by offering a sense of belonging, purpose, or protection, preying on their desires for acceptance and security. 7. Rewards and punishments. Gang leaders use a system of rewards and punishments to control their members. They may provide incentives such as money, drugs, or status within the gang for compliance, while harshly punishing those who disobey or betray the group. 8. Psychological conditioning. Over time, Gang leaders employ psychological conditioning techniques to mold the beliefs, attitudes, and behaviors of their members. This may involve reinforcing a specific worldview, promoting aggression, or desensitizing individuals to violence. By employing these psychological manipulation techniques, criminal gang leaders create an environment where dissent is discouraged, and obedience is valued above all else. They exploit the vulnerabilities of their members, manipulating them into becoming loyal, obedient subjects who are willing to engage in illegal activities and protect the gang's interests. Research-based point 4. Escaping the cycle and intervention. While the grip of criminal gangs may seem unbreakable, it's important to remember that change is possible. Various intervention programs and research-based approaches have shown remarkable success in helping individuals leave behind the life of crime and build healthier, positive lives. Through counseling, mentorship, and rehabilitation, we can address the root causes behind gang involvement and provide individuals with alternatives. Breaking the cycle requires a multifaceted approach that includes community support, educational opportunities, and mental health resources. Research-based approaches and intervention programs have demonstrated that breaking free from the cycle of criminal gangs is indeed possible. These programs recognize that addressing the root causes of gang involvement is crucial and focus on providing individuals with the necessary support and resources to transition into healthier, positive lives. Here are some key aspects of these interventions. 1. Counseling and Therapy One important component of intervention programs is providing counseling and therapy services to individuals involved in gangs. 1. These services aim to address the underlying psychological, emotional, and social factors that contribute to gang involvement. 1. By working with trained professionals, individuals can gain insights into their experiences, develop coping strategies, and acquire skills to make positive changes. 2. Mentorship and positive role models. Mentorship programs play a vital role in helping individuals leave behind the gang lifestyle. 2. By pairing individuals with positive role models who have successfully transitioned out of gangs, they provide guidance, support, and inspiration. 2. Mentors serve as sources of motivation, helping individuals develop new goals, navigate challenges, and explore healthier alternatives. 3. Rehabilitation and Reintegration Rehabilitation programs are designed to assist individuals in overcoming their criminal behaviors and reintegrating into society. 3. These programs offer various services, including vocational training, educational opportunities, and substance abuse treatment. 3. By equipping individuals with practical skills and addressing any substance abuse issues, they increase the chances of successful reintegration and reduce the risk of relapse into criminal activities. 4. Community support and outreach. Community involvement is essential in supporting individuals who want to leave gangs. 4. Creating a supportive environment that welcomes and encourages reformed gang members reduces stigma and provides a network of resources. 4. 
Community-based organizations, faith-based groups, and local initiatives can offer mentorship, employment opportunities, and educational programs that contribute to successful reintegration. 5. Education and Skill Development Providing access to quality education and skill development opportunities is crucial for individuals seeking to break free from the cycle of gangs. 5. Education equips them with knowledge, critical thinking skills, and the ability to explore alternative paths. 5. Vocational training and job placement programs can empower individuals by helping them secure legitimate employment and build a stable future. 6. Mental health resources. Many individuals involved in gangs may have experienced trauma, adverse childhood experiences, or mental health issues that contributed to their involvement. 6. Integrating mental health resources within intervention programs ensures that individuals receive appropriate support and treatment. 6. Therapy, counseling, and access to psychiatric services can address these underlying issues and support the healing process. It's important to recognize that breaking free from the grip of criminal gangs is a challenging process that requires sustained effort, resources, and community support. However, with the implementation of research-based intervention programs that address the root causes of gang involvement, individuals can have the opportunity to transform their lives, break the cycle, and contribute positively to their communities. Conclusion As we conclude this captivating exploration into the psychology of criminal gangs, I want to leave you with a powerful message. By understanding the group dynamics and deviant behavior that underlie these gangs, we gain insights into the complex web of human psychology. This knowledge empowers us to tackle the issue head-on and create a safer, more compassionate world. Remember, change begins with empathy and understanding. Let's use our knowledge to support interventions, promote positive connections, and offer alternatives to those caught in the grasp of criminal gangs. Together, we can break the cycle and inspire transformation. Thank you for joining me on this thought-provoking journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content on criminal psychology. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the depths of the human mind.